Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first edition of IDNR TV News. Today our program will be focused on the Gold Show in Vancouver on June 13th and 14th. We have online Joseph Martin. Joseph Martin is the president of Cambridge House and Cambridge House is the organizer of this event. Cambridge House is uh, Cambridge House International is Canada's largest producer of investment conferences that bring together uh, individual and professional investors, uh, plethora, a whole bunch of international speakers, and our income stream is generated primarily by the public stock companies that comprise the uh, mining business in Canada. And these companies are active in projects around the world. It's hardly a country if there's mining involved, there's a Canadian involved, <laughs> and we bring them all together for the World Gold Show on June 13 and 14th in Vancouver at the Convention Center. So how many people are expected to attend this convention? Somewhere I would expect our attendance over a two-day period. It's a full, day, full two days. I would expect attendance somewhere. It, 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 of course, that depends somewhat on the price of gold and other metals. There's always some rush to there, but somewhere between three to 5,000 people. For the first time ever, OT Mining and Namex Exploration has decided to hold a booth at the convention. Here to tell us why is James W. Hess, president of both companies. Well, we've got a lot of exciting information uh, because this is really the most exciting the turning point in, the, in both companies' lives. We are beginning drilling programs um, on, the, on the OT's Ruby, mm -hmm. and we will be drilling a series probably of 10 to 15,000 feet of holes um, down to 2,000 feet. Right now we're running some very heavy-duty uh, Ground Geophysics Titan 24 for drill targeting. That will all be on display, uh, results, etc., at the booth. Okay. And for NAMEX, we begin our drill. We will be drilling by the time the show uh, occurs, and we will have information on our summer drilling program on the platinum, uh, nickel, gold properties that we have strategically located within Sudbury mm -hmm. and with active neighbors all around us, Wallbridge, Champion Bear, Inco, Falcon Bridge, uh, Ursa Major. So we've got a lot of exciting things to show the people. David Hall, President and CEO of Eurozon, also has interesting news to share with us about his company. Well, I think the most important thing is people will get an update on our activities at the Casa Berardi project, which uh, we're undergoing a major uh, underground definition drilling program, mm -hmm. um, 40,000 meters, um, with a view to um, completing a updated feasibility study sometime towards the end of this year. And uh, so we will have... Um, updated uh, results from the definition drilling program on the main zone at Casa Berardi, which is the 113 zone. In addition to that, we will also be able to update people on some of the activities that we've initiated in order to move Casa Berardi towards uh, production, uh, basically involving the preparatory work on the shaft, uh, notably the shaft collar, establishing underground access to the shaft location on two levels. Mm -hmm. And also, we'll be giving people an update on um, our exploration program as distinct from the definition drilling program that's uh, ongoing at CASA this year. Okay, uh, so is this your first year attending uh, the convention? I'm assuming it's not? No, no, we've been a regular attender at these conferences. And it's been a success in the past for you? Yes. Well, great. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. And we'll see you in Vancouver. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks. Hi, I'm Bart Kittner, president and founder of Kitco. If you have any questions that you want to ask us about Kitco.com, about our company, about our products, about gold or charts or anything that we publish online, please send in your questions at IDNR TV, and I'll be happy to answer those questions on our Kitco Corner Show. Very excited about this convention is Spiros Kakos, IR of Pacific Northwest Capital. Pacific Northwest Capital is an industry leader in platinum palladium exploration, right? I mean, out of all the companies that are here in North America that are exploring platinum and palladium, we are the only company in North America, right, that has up and over a million ounces of PGMs into the ground. Okay. Right, there are two producers right now in North America, which is North American Palladium and Stillwater Mining, and we're trying to become the third 
company to go into production. Okay. GM. Okay. So just in a, in a, in a very brief uh, little monologue here, can you tell me what uh, what to expect at your booth? We simply want to know what people can expect to go there and see from your booth at the uh, Gold Show in Vancouver. What what are you going to be focusing on? Well, I think what people I, I think right now in if people seeing that platinum is trading at a 23 year high, and uh, I think people will be coming by to the booth first of all that are interested in making um, an investment um, or trying to find more about the you know the unique discoveries of PGMs in North America. Mm -hmm. I think Pacific Northwest Capital is one of the only companies here in North America that can actually, because they have a, a million ounces under their belt, can actually go out there and, 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 uh, and show people what we're doing. Okay, perfect. And is this your, uh, have you attended this convention in the past? Yes, we have. And it's been very successful yeah. and productive? It's a retail show, so there's a lot of people, there's a lot of shareholders, um, there are a lot of, that, that are out there, um, a lot of people who are looking to make investments into the minerals right now. Uh, Predominantly, the gold industry is very, very big, as you know. Mm -hmm. People are also interested in diamonds because Canada, you know, Canada is a big diamond country as well. Yes. But uh, we're just starting to come around as a platinum country, and then having North American palladium and still water here in North America, and our company trying to become the third company to go into production, I think, which makes us, you know, unique from every other PGM exploration company which exists here. Perfect. Well, thank you for your time. Okay. And have a great day. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye. This is Paul Van Eden. I'll be your host on the Analyst Hour on IDNR TV. We'll be talking about investment related issues in the natural resources industry, mining, metal prices, things like that. If you have any questions, please email them to us and we'd be happy to try and answer them. We're very happy that Radius Explorations has been promoting an interview given to IDNR TV by President Simon Ridgway. We will soon be doing a full coverage of Radius Explorations on location. Here is Ralph Rushton, VP of Radius Explorations. June 14th, we are expecting to get um, the court approval for the merger between Radius Explorations Limited and Pillar Gold Inc. Okay. We anticipate that the, um, the approval will be on, for, on June 14th, assuming that the shareholders approve the merger. Mm -hmm. um, and then on June, roughly on June 15th, the new company Radius Gold Inc. should start trading on the uh, Toronto Venture Exchange. Oh, great. Um, well, n but now tell me, when you get there, June 13th, what is go what's going to be all of, what are you going to be all about, your booth? Well, we will be, we'll be highlighting the merged company. Okay. Um, we'll be highlighting the fact that we now have a single company in Central America that will have uh, roughly 19 million Canadian dollars in the treasury. Okay. Um, a portfolio of probably a dozen exploration properties in Nicaragua and Guatemala. Okay. Um, a number of, uh, we anticipate by then that we will have one or two joint ventures um, uh, close to, uh, close to, to, to finalized on some of our non-core properties. Okay. But like I say, we anticipate, I mean, that's not... Right, uh, it's not set in stone. Not set in stone because, you know, we're currently negotiating and nego negotiations can can um, come apart at the last moment. Yeah. Um, and we will be highlighting the exploration success that we're having in, in central Nicaragua. Even though he does not have a booth at the convention this year, President of Minework Resources, John McPherson, has some important information to share with us. Good morning. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity this morning to explain to you about our company called Mineworks Resources. Uh -huh. Mineworks Resources trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange Venture Exchange and it trades in the 2022 cent range. Uh, I have been involved with the company for quite a while. I'm the Chief Executive Officer and we're pleased to say that our efforts are basically in the what we call the boundary area of British Columbia, uh -huh. which is halfway across the province right at the American border. What makes this area quite exciting is the fact that Kinross, only a couple of miles to our south, has developed one mine and has discovered another one. And this area over the last 50 or 60 years has produced over 7 million ounces of gold. Just to the north of our property, two miles, of course, is the famous Phoenix Pit. It's where the famous Granby Mining Corporation started and the only copper smelter in British Columbia where is that. So we're ideal located to be looking for minerals. We've looked for minerals in this area and have a good land position, and presently we have a mining company, contractors, which are working underground. We have a drift that's in 600 feet, and we have two cross-cut drifts. We've just completed the first one to the right or to the north, and we are pleased to report.
report that we have hit good mineralized areas. We cannot say what the uh, assays are because they're in for assay, but we're quite excited. I was on the property on Friday with the geologist, and she was quite happy with what we were able to see. And we're also drifting uh, to the uh, south, and we will be dr drifting there for another month. And the drift is 8 by 10, and we're looking for a target of gold and copper, which was identified from surface using diamond drilling a couple of years ago. So the area is active. We're active here, and we hope that we can uh, develop enough ore because we have taken an option on a mill, which is located two miles to the south from our property, which is permitted in the province of British Columbia, which is a big thing to have. Many, uh, one of the problems of British Columbia and Western Canada is getting permits to operate mines, mm -hmm. and we're pleased to see that this is a fully permitted mill, and we could, uh, if we can find a satisfactory reserves and resources here, we would hope to be milling sometime before Christmas. So our program is quite exciting. We it have a few exciting. hundred thousand dollars in the bank. We have good support from our investors, in particularly in Europe, and we're looking forward to an exciting summer, and that's about where we're at at the moment. Okay, um, well, IDNR is definitely looking forward to coming and checking out uh, your property in the near future. Are you going to be attending uh, the convention in Vancouver? Yes, I certainly will be, and uh, meeting many of my friends there. I have been in the mining industry here for in Vancouver for a good part of my life, and pleased to say I was one of the people that discovered the famous mine in Wenatchee, Washington, and uh, we produced over one million ounces there in the 1980s and early 90s. I've been involved in a number of quite uh, larger companies, Grangus and Gold Belt and a few along the way, so uh, it gives me an opportunity to uh, tell my other investors and other people around me uh, this forum uh, will be quite exciting for all of us to attend. Even though they are not participating in the convention this year, we thought it would be interesting and important to mention the initiative the Northern Line Gold Corp has taken to hold a Canada Day on their property in Finland. To talk to us, President of Northern Line Gold Corporation, John Lando. I'm leaving for Finland at the end of the month, uh, along with another representative of the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be having a town hall style meeting. Uh, it's the second one that we'll uh, be doing over there. Uh, to inform the community about our project and uh, answer any questions anybody may have. And uh, we'll be following this time's town hall meeting uh, with a Canadian-style barbecue for the community of Viliakula in Finland. A lot of maple syrup involved? Uh, we're not taking <laughs> any maple syrup over there, but uh, I have managed to get some Molten Canadian delivered. Nice. And um, we're just going over with the idea of trying to promote kind of a positive... Uh, uh, Canadian Finland um, Association, and uh, I think we may try to take over some Canadian hockey jerseys and uh, that kind of thing. Okay, and uh, so you're based out of Vancouver, right? That's correct. Okay, and why uh, Finland? What I mean, how long have you been working or in collaboration or with Finland for? Well, we've been operating, uh, I guess, for about two years now in Finland, and um, the project that we that our company acquired. Uh, is in is in southern Finland, uh, about 150 kilometers from Helsinki. Okay. And um, um, it's been an interesting place to work. We've uh, we've had um, a lot of cooperation from the Finnish government as well as from other people within the Finnish mining community. Okay. And um, you know, we're very pleased with uh, with the cooperation that we've had from locals uh, as well. So from every every level of government, really. Because the mining industry requires a lot of travel, we're going to speak to Miroslav Kozic, who will tell us why his company, Czech Airlines, deserves your attention. Czech Airlines is offering three flights during summer season or all the year to uh, Czech Republic. And uh, what is very important, we have uh, Czech Republic is situated and Prague is situated in the center of Europe, in the heart of the Europe. And uh, we have a very good connection to another destination within Europe. Uh, Czech Airlines has a regular flight to most uh, European capital cities. It means uh, they offer us good potential of the passenger. We will soon have more new and exciting programming. Stay with us. I'm Valerie Boucher, IDNR TV, Natural Resource Television.